I want to really talk about why most accelerator program in Africa are just a bunch of BS, man. And it hurts me to say that. It, it really does, but, but, but check it out, man. I think you'll agree with me after you see this video. Don't fear failure. As long as it's not going to kill you, it's going to make you work stronger. I've been all across Africa. I've done over, um, I think it's 10 or 11, uh, accelerated program in all over the continent. The narrative, after six years, the only narrative is how to support startup. But you don't hear anything about how to bring startup to an SME uh, or medium-sized uh, company. You don't hear anything about um, you know, exit, a company that exited, or got, you know, did a merge, or got acquired. It's always about, you know, startup, 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 startup. And I'm sorry, man. If you start a business, it's not to stick to and stay on the startup level for the rest of your life. You gotta evolve, you gotta grow, you gotta expand, you know, and 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 expand your, your technology, expand the market, uh, uh, grow your team you know, grow your market share, grow your customer base, grow revenue. But this is the problem with most, I don't like to say all, cause I don't know them all, but most accelerator program in Africa. You know, they just get guys on board, bring consultants from abroad, most of them, you know, spend a few hours talking about A, B and C, and then that's it. You finish the program and you're on your own. I want to talk and give you some, some knowledge about how to pick the right accelerator program. Number one, <clears throat> you want to know if the startup invests in companies. Yeah, guys. In all the startup I've been to, only one had an investment plan. And not for all, for the winners. Luckily, we got, you know, we won, but still, that's big, guys. Why would you involve yourself in an accelerator program? If they truly believe in you, they should be able to invest in you. And, you know, you give them equity, they give you a little bit of money, doesn't have to be much, but they have to have a stake in the journey. They don't have a stake in the journey. I'm sorry, man, they're full of BS, man. They're just there just to get money to get numbers out of the program so they can get more money and then they stuck to the to the volume instead of quality you know so ask them the question or do you invest if they tell you no hey, don't don't waste your time the the second thing i will look at is how many of the company has reached the next level how many of the company got acquired got sold you know went public why not you know how many company, uh, <clears throat> you know, became a, a medium-sized level company? Ask those questions. If they don't even have that data and they tell you, well, most of them are still in business, that's not an answer, man. I can stay in business forever and stay in the level I'm, I'm at. The word accelerator program, technically, like the word says, it accelerates you to something. It does not, it's not a stagnation program. You know, it's not a regression program, it's accelerator program. Now, unfortunately, most of the young entrepreneurs don't know. They don't know what to ask, they don't know what to look for. You know, anybody can bring so-called investor to, to a meeting, but are those investors actually invest? And that's the last question you need to ask. All the investors you bring, how many of them have invested in some of those companies? That's extremely important. It's not just about bringing people, guys. We talk about data. We talk about uh, <clears throat> results. You know, we talk about uh, a, a lot of stuff. But we need to get accountability for those type of accelerator program. We need to really be tough on them, just like they're tough on you. You know, when they select you, it's a selection program. 
they're not selling you the right products. You know, the best accelerator program I've seen, unfortunately, I didn't get the privilege to be on, but I've studied them. I've watched a lot of YouTube video about them is the Y Combinator. You know, they, they have unicorn status uh, of, of some of the, the, the entrepreneurs that went through their program. They actually have, uh, at the end of the program, they have uh, uh, a, a so-called meeting where, you know, investors come, an entrepreneur, and they bring investors that actually want to invest. And a lot of them invest in those companies. They have a track record. You know, they have companies that have been purchased. They have companies that went public. They have companies that have billion dollar status. That's result. But I have yet to see any of those accelerator programs in Africa that has that type of result, man. And yes, the market is new and there's still a, a learning curve on a lot of level, but still, some of the points I mentioned can still be engaged by accelerator program. Uh, and I think a lot of them are taking advantage of entrepreneur, you know, to build their own brand, but not necessarily build the entrepreneurial uh, ecosystem or the entrepreneurial business. All this false dream, as I call it, all these programs that are not selling, you know, no, no substance, actually have a long-term negative impact for entrepreneur. Because a young entrepreneur, especially when you're young, you, you have a lot of energy, you believe the sky is the limit, you know, and it is, you should. You believe you can achieve anything you want, and that's true, you can. But it's those false promise or false profit, as we call, uh, you know, them, that make entrepreneurship have a bad image. So do your homework, be tough, just like they're tough on you, man, and don't settle for less, period. What's up, everybody? First of all, thank you for watching all the videos. I'm working on a project right now that I'm really, really passionate about. It's called the 50K Challenge. And that's 50,000 copies we need to sell of the book. Out of every 20 sales, I'll be giving one book to a young entrepreneur or young students. And out of every 500 sales, I'll do a one week mentorship to a young entrepreneur. I truly believe with your support, I can achieve that goal, guys. So share the books. If you haven't got it, get it. If you don't like to read, buy it for somebody else. And please share it also on social media. Thank you.